Nice reservoir, but first, let me take a selfie. Hi, this is Dan Robino, Editor-in-Chief of Windows Central, and this is Hidden Gems, where we tell you about the coolest new apps that you need to know about. In this episode, we'll share with you two new apps that'll let you have fun with your photos. The first hidden gem is Beardify. It lets you add a beard to your selfies. Some of the features include different beard types like the kernel, goatee, soul patch, and more, match hair color for a realistic look, and animated gestures like sneezing and blinking. You can see here a demo image of myself that I've already added a goatee to. I can now share this image or delete it. However, we're going to go and take a selfie. Besides taking a selfie with the app, you can also import any photo from your camera roll. Once you get the photo you like, you can crop it and then hit the check mark. Now you want to place the features. This is going to help line up the beard once placed on there. So you want to make sure you get these right. You can see my chin is slightly off here, so I'm going to line it up. Once you're happy with everything, hit the check mark. And there you go. Now I got a brand new goatee. And it actually looks really good. You may also notice that the things are animated here and you can actually touch the screen to make your head move. If I want to change the color of my beard, I can do that here. So now you see I have a blonde beard. And if I want to be old, I can give myself a white beard. Scrolling over, you can choose different beard styles over here. By hitting the video selection, you can get more options. These are actually kind of creepy, but they're definitely a lot of fun. So for instance, I can hit cough. There's a nice sigh. A yawn. And more. And if I like these, I can actually hit the share button. It's going to allow me to save the video. And I can even save it to the camera roll or share it with other people through the share picker. Under Mix, you can have even more fun. The app integrates with their other apps like Oldify and Fatify and Baldify. So if I want to, I can hit Fat, and it's going to basically use that app to make me, well, a little more chubby. Our second hidden gem is an app called Font Candy. It lets you add captions and typography designs to your photos. Some of these features include a killer selection of hand-picked fonts, add artwork like banner, arrows, and more, and custom templates of some popular quotes. When you launch it, it's pretty simple. You begin to get started, which shows your most recent photos. You can also tap into Facebook and bring up your most recent images that way. Finally, you can hit browse and find exactly what you're looking for. Scrolling over and you bring up inspiration. These are photos that users have submitted and they're really nice. Not only are they pretty, they give you ideas of what you can do. We're gonna go into my mobile uploads here and bring up a photo I took on vacation. As you can see here, I got the full image, but I wanna crop it as a square. Once I got the image I want, I hit crop and it's gonna be done. Once on this screen, you can add text to your image. You do this through the caption box, which you can move around the display this way. Once you're in a position you like, you double tap and it brings up the keyboard. Once your caption is entered, you can then go through and choose the font you want, such as Chai Town, Chunk 5, scrolling down further, you can see Dakar or Diner Obese. Once your font is chosen, you can go through and make further adjustments, such as increasing the size, changing the shadow, character spacing, and scrolling down, you even have more things like line spacing and rotation. Are you at a loss for words? No problem, this app has you covered. As you can see here under sayings, I can choose things from love, inspiration, travel, friendship, funny, and birthday. We'll do travel for obvious reasons and you can see here there's a bunch of different options for fun things I can add. Want to spice up your image even more? Just choose artwork and you can choose from things like dividers, shapes, decorative, banners, bursts, and tribal. We'll do banners here to see what it looks like. I'm gonna find this one, puts it on a display, and now I'm gonna resize it and I'll put it around my text here. Finally, if you want to make your text stand out, just choose image and now you can do things like blur, which will blur out the background but keep the text highlighted. You can also change brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, and more. Also at the bottom here, you have options for filters, including none, grayscale, black, negative, sepia, polaroid, lexica, and lomograph. We'll choose Polaroid. When you're happy with your image and you want to save it, just go to more and you have things like invert mode, save, share, and start over. We'll hit share, which uses a universal Windows phone picker to send to your different apps. So that does it for this episode. Join us next time for our final installment of Hidden Gems. Take care, everybody.